ever questioned why narcissists are cruel. I am aware that most of us find it challenging to comprehend why narcissists behave in the manner that they do. Yet if you have dealt with or may have known a narcissist, you are probably aware of how frustrating it can be. Let's first take a time to examine what narcissism is and why it exists. Before we get to that section, a person with narcissistic personality disorder, often known as NPD, has an exaggerated sense of their importance, a strong desire for excessive attention and praise, and little empathy for other people. Having this personality condition frequently results in problems in a variety of spheres of life, including employment, education, and relationships with individuals close to them. Why are there narcissists? Since narcissistic traits are occasionally inherited from childhood environments, which are typically characterized by idealized parenting and excessive transitory, narcissism arises as a result of the consequences of trauma and early experience. Most narcissists have an overly sensitive disposition from birth. They have parents that have high expectations for their children while also receiving excessive pampering or indulgence from loved ones or friends. They might have a reason for being, though. We cannot exclude the possibility that narcissists are ruthless, merciless, and nasty. And they want you to know that they are so angry with their loved ones because of how much they despise themselves. A narcissist might be made to trust you or be made to overlook your human failings by the individuals who are closest to them. Whenever you show a narcissist that you are a flawed human being, they completely reject any value you may have. Very vicious, no. These are the six causes of narcissists' cruelty. Let's determine the cause. First place, narcissists are driven to succeed in everything. In a narcissist's mind, everything is either all or nothing. The thoughts of narcissists are ones of beauty, success, and power. They desire that others will be jealous of it. And when they see you succeed, they want other people who already have what they want to be envious of them. Their twisted logic claims that they failed because you succeeded, and that the success of someone else may disturb them because they believe that by virtue of your success, they have missed out on the chance to be loved or given attention. Regrettably, narcissists are unable to persuade otherwise. You must understand that the narcissist is not competing with you because they hate you or wish to hurt your feelings. They are emotionally deprived, which is why they behave in this way. Someone who sincerely admires you and wants to see you succeed, or who is happy for you and wants to recognize your achievement. Narcissists act in the opposite manner. Narcissists won't share your happiness and always try to downplay your accomplishment. They will exert control over you and use the power against you to prevent you from advancing in your life. The second, narcissists constantly feel inferior, thus they feel the urge to be better than everyone else. They persuade themselves that they are indeed better and more superior than other people. They frequently demonstrate this by verbally abusing, defaming, mocking, demeaning, and physically assaulting their victim, as well as by boasting and fabricating their successes. Pretending to be superior than you is a popular tactic used by narcissists to control, deceive, and impress others. On the other hand, narcissists idealize those they consider to be strong or advantageous. On the other hand, a narcissist is someone who despises everyone. They hate people they view as inferior because they are helpless, pathetic, and weak. Narcissists believe they are better or useful to others, which is why they believe they detest them. Also, narcissists typically assert that they are the ones who truly deserve it. They may be being rude to you because they think you're special or useful. The third. Narcissists are unable to take criticism. Critics are not tolerated by narcissists. How confident we feel in ourselves affects how well we can accept and handle criticism. Although they may not express it, narcissists secretly perceive all complaints as seriously threatening. In the face of criticism, nurses struggle mightily to remain emotionally composed. Even if the criticism is negative or constructive, it makes no difference. Even if they are accurate, they simply don't seem to be able to take criticism. 
You have to own up to your mistakes. When you don't admit that you were wrong to criticize them, they'll escalate the situation. They'll intimidate you until you decide to change your mind. They will turn against you and start a war when their attempt to coerce you fails. When narcissists attack you back, it may be fruitless to engage them so they can grow. Keep in mind that they are always more hurtful when you criticize them since they just care about themselves. What should you do to keep the narcissist from confronting you? The fourth, nurses struggle with self-forgiveness. The motivation behind a narcissist's actions is frequently self-hatred rather than self-love. It's a frequent misperception that victims only need to forgive. Inmates' mental health, not their crimes. The pain of forgiving themselves is something that narcissists deal with. People have two ways of coping with bereavement. They either include this on their list of hidden insecurities or dismiss it as unimportant to their self-esteem. The two narcissists will not be able to distinguish one from the other. Knowing what narcissists are allows you to see nothing genuine in them. They lack compassion for anyone, including themselves, and are soulless and empty. Because their egos take control, narcissists are not concerned with issues like forgiveness. All they can think about is finding more human beings to give them deadly oxygen. They will therefore keep looking for new methods to hurt other people. The fifth point is that nurses exist in a fantasy world. Narcissists are sometimes seductive and alluring. They are adept at creating a fictitious, borderline self-image. The appeal is M. Their lofty aspirations and apparent self-assurance draw us in. The appeal becomes more alluring the more unstable our sense of self-worth is. It's simple to fall into their trap and think that they would elevate our status in society. Yet it is all a lie. Narcs can tell compelling tales. You will be drawn to their personal triumphs, acts of bravery, and even acts of altruism. Look beyond the curtain and you'll realize that history has been changed. They are shielded from their emptiness by these imaginations. As a result, evidence and opinions are easily discounted. Defensiveness is used to handle anything that might threaten to shatter the narcissist's fantasy bubble. Yet it is all a lie. Narcs can tell compelling tales. You will be drawn to their personal triumphs, acts of bravery, and even acts of altruism. Look beyond the curtain and you'll realize that history has been changed. They are shielded from their emptiness by these imaginations. As a result, evidence and opinions are easily discounted. Defensiveness is used to handle anything that might threaten to shatter the narcissist's fantasy bubble. Unless explode in rage. As a result, everyone around them will learn to avoid their denial of reality by moving slowly. Sixth, narcissists are not empathic. Yeah, this is a significant factor in the cruelty of narcissists. They lack genuine empathy. Because they lack empathy, narcissists may have the tendency to be cruel. And the cause is really straightforward. They don't care about you, so they don't have any sympathy. Say it plainly. Narcissists are only interested in themselves. Instead, they have a self-centered obsession that is out of all proportion to any sensible ability. Their needs are supplied by their parents from an early age, and they appear to mature without being aware of or sensitive to the needs of others. The fact that a narcissist lacks a necessary component of human development is not your fault. You are a pawn in their game, employed to boost their ego. But going forward, you must understand that this person won't react to you emotionally in a healthy person's manner. Because of their genetic makeup, narcissists lack empathy, since it will need them to desire your sensations more than their own sentiments about themselves. Trying to convince them to empathize with you goes against their natural wiring. Some people in the narcissist's life may prefer to simply put up with their rudeness and demands in order to avoid their rages and coldness. A myth that you are exceptional and will be saved should not be believed. The narcissist in your life must be seen for what they are, not what you wish they were. Quit rationalizing bad actions and downplaying the harm they create. Denying it won't make it go away. The crucial question is if you can continue to live this way because narcissists are frequently difficult to alter. 
instead of falling victim to the narcissist's illusions. Think about what you want for yourself. You can now recognize narcissists if you have a better understanding of narcissistic personality disorder. In order to protect oneself from their games, set up better limits. Turn on the notification bell and subscribe for more fantastic videos like this one. I urge you to see this brand new video right now.